You're watching Duct Tape and Popsicle Sticks with Mike and Maria Kaiser. Because sometimes you feel like your business is being held together by duct tape and popsicle sticks. On this show, you're not going to hear the latest business fad. You're going to get useful information that you can apply to your own business right now. Hello and thanks for watching another amazing episode of Duct Tape and Popsicle Sticks. I'm Mike Kaiser along with a woman who recently beat a hippopotamus in a sumo wrestling match, Maria Kaiser. That was, that was quite impressive, by the way. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> well, then we'll just, we'll just keep it flowing. Keep it going. Yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, everybody, as usual, thanks a million for joining us. We... Um, We've been, boy, we've been getting a ton of new views and shares and likes. Um, we even got a dislike the other day, and we, I can't say we like those as much, but it's good to know that people are paying attention and have an opinion. Uh, if you want to know how to subscribe, if you want to know how to reach us, everything there is to know, as usual, it's right below here in the show notes, so you can check that out at your leisure. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Maria has a story today, and it's, it's sometimes life or business lessons come out of sort of the the strangest right. places so you wanted to share a story yeah but like so many valuable life and business lessons um this story comes from a game of fruit ninja <laughs> so uh so would you like to take it away it's from almost there? so silly that <laughs> i couldn't even share it for a long time because i thought wow what a dumb thing to say that being said, uh, a few years back, you know, life in business seemed more difficult than it needed to be. And, um, you know, a way to distract myself, maybe avoid doing things, God only knows what, I, I would play Fruit Ninja. I liked the way this sounded when you squashed the fruit and everything. <laughs> so they, when they updated, they got, a, they got a new thing where you could buy these extra things, these special features that would get you more points. But you right. had to buy them. Mm -hmm. with your points that you added up and so I was able to buy you know 10 rounds at a time <laughs> and so during those 10 rounds you know I was trying to build up as many points as I could so I could buy the next one and um, so anyway I, I found myself being very scarce you know like oh I only have 10 of these I gotta take care of them I gotta watch them yep. I gotta you know um, but then one day my app went crazy and I got like millions of these things. And then I found that I could just use them however, whatever way I wanted to. Um, but at that moment, it kind of dawned on me that, wait a minute, now that I have more, I'm so much more free. And to, confident. And, and confident to maybe end a game that's not going well, try or else. try something new, try a different technique, try a different blade, you know, and, and I found that, yeah, I was losing some, but I was winning so much more. And I said, you know, when you are in that scarcity mentality, what you're doing is you're just like, you're holding on to something like, mm -hmm. oh no, I can't, I can't do this because what if, and oh, I can't lose this thing. But what yeah. you're doing cash is... Cash flow is tight, so I can't yeah. possibly buy that thing or do right. that marketing and program. No, you or, know, that'll be later. I'll do yeah. this later. And and what you find is you never grow. You think small. Yes, you think so small. Yeah. And so I was meeting with a client recently who was going through something similar. And that story, I got reminded of that story. And, and I felt like, well, I think now it's, it's time to bring this story up. So, mm -hmm. you know, I... What kinds of things and opportunities are you missing out on because you think like, oh my God, I only have a few berry blasts left and I can't waste them. Yeah. Well, you know, and you were saying about a client saying, I'm getting more no's, but I'm getting more yeses. Yep. We also have another client who, because he's so unafraid to think big, mm -hmm. he used to be, but he's so unafraid to think big that when it comes to whatever that is, a new house or the new pool house or whatever it's going to be, um, and we're so proud of them, it doesn't even phase them right. to think big anymore. Right. The scarcity mentality right. is gone. Yeah, so, you know, you do have enough, and, and maybe you only have 10, but use those 10 like there's no tomorrow and, and see what you get as a result. There you go. Yes. Well said. And if nothing else, you could uh, always take up Fruit Ninja. <laughs> right. So, but, uh, no, that's a good, that's a good and valuable uh, piece of advice. I think. Do you have anything to add? Are you good? Um, I'm, I'm. Well, I guess the last thing is uh, this is not a this is not um, 
free reign to be irresponsible. No, no. Uh, be responsible, but don't think so small that you you're keeping yourself in a little. I box. can't go to that networking right. event because I can't afford the twenty bucks right, right. now. I can't. No, you'll right. Yeah. So very good. Yeah. Very good. So take that to heart. I think it. Uh, I think it. It hits the nail right on the head. And again, everybody, thank you so much for the responses, the good, the one bad. We'll find out who you were. Um, we'll track you <laughs> and down. We will shun you, we promise. <laughs> but, um, but we love the feedback. Thanks again for hanging out. You've been watching Duct Tape and Popsicle Sticks, where we make your business roughly three minutes at a time. Ciao for now. <laughs> You're watching Duct Tape and Popsicle Sticks with Mike and Maria Kaiser.